Okay. I am at the Museum of Ancient Life at Thanksgiving Point, Lehigh, in, uh, yeah, in Lehigh, Utah. And been here many times. Just thought I'd get a recording of the exciting things that uh, show up here, like this Tanny Calagrius skeleton and this Othelia thing. A lot of uh, what you see in this room is going to be of the Jurassic period, though there are a few exceptions. And as you can see, they want to make this as realistic as possible by giving us a bunch of weird noises. Uh, Stegosaurus. And there's the Balneopholis, which is the, an ancient ancestor of the crocodile. Stegosaurus skeleton. I guess they didn't want to have it standing up for some reason. And this giant thing here is called Supersaurus. A lot of the, let's see, this one is definitely a Jurassic period dinosaur. As is this Ceratosaurus here. And then they're showing, there's a few fossils here as well as some um, you know, replicas, skeletons. This, well, first, this is Allosaurus. And this is Asparasaurus. This is the one of the ancestors of the Stegosaurus, apparently Stegosaurus existed 150 million years ago, but this one is 180 million years old. And that's a pelvis of a Supersaurus. And here's Brachiosaurus, a little bit more well known than other dinosaurs that you see here. One of the weird things about all this is very few of the dinosaurs you see in Jurassic Park actually existed in the Jurassic period. They mostly are Cretaceous, which comes after the Jurassic period. Now here I'm coming through the erosion display where they have water running through sand, kind of demonstrating how erosion works. And then come on over here to this next room where the Cretaceous display is. She said to flowers before the first human being ever saw. And I can even tell that she was working hard when she died. Pachycephalosaurus, another one of those plant eaters. I guess I skipped the Utah Raptor in the other room, but I probably got it on video. That is a Protoceratops that apparently got buried alive. And here's a bunch of dinosaur eggs that have been buried and fossilized for millions of years. Interesting how they figured out which species each of these eggs belong to. This is the skull and claw replica, essentially, of a Spinosaurus. And then, of course, here's some of your more famous ones, like Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops over there. And over here we have the ha couple hadrosaurs. This one's called Edmontosaurus. 
Well, this here is a very skeleton replica of an older hadrosaur called Bactrosaurus. The hadrosaurs are kind of interesting. They have duck-billed mouths, but they also have very large teeth in those mouths of theirs. This thing over here, which is slightly earlier than Tyrannosaurus and uh, Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops, is the Struthiomimus. And then here is a display of the Cretaceous oceans, creatures like this Archelon Ichthyrus or the giant sea turtle that existed during the Cretaceous period. Apparently they found several of these skeletons in South Dakota and other places. Some of these fish and sea reptiles are really huge. This long snaky thing here is what we know as the um, plesiosaur, which is something that people think that the Loch Ness Monster is, but having been to Loch Ness, I am very skeptical of the concept of there being such a thing in that lake. And over here is a huge sea reptile called Tylosaurus. This certainly would have been something amazing to see.